scientists. So I am Dr. Way. And salutations, young lab technologist. I am Dr. Yah. And joining us once again is the famous Dr. Zeke, aka Dry Bones. How's it going there, Dr. Zeke? Still hot out? I hear ya. <laughs> yes. You can't hear us though because you have no ears. It's okay. It's all good. And fellow scientists, we thank you for joining us once again as we go mad for the gospel. So, today, <laughs> did you hear that? <gasps> What's that jingling? It's money. <gasps> money! I money love money. in my pocket. Yes, yes that's what we're going to talk about today. Money and the church. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, two things we usually don't, don't. like to talk about because no. your offering to God is usually something, oh, actually, not it's usually, always. it's always something private. Yeah, it's between you and, you and God and what you give is out of a joyful heart. Yeah. Um, but... We're going to talk about money in the church today because our story is about a woman who gave everything she had. And it's also about the other guys walking into the temple and kind of making a big production of what they were going to give. So Yeah, they thought it was like important to not only give a lot of money, but to make a really big deal about giving a lot of money. Yeah, so back in Jesus' day, the offering box or the, the um, plate was outside the temple. So upon going into the temple, you put your offering in the box and kind of people wanted to make a big deal about it. They would throw in their coins because it's not like they had checks or credit cards to swipe no. or bank drafts or anything like that. No. So, or even dollar bills. Or even dollar bills. So they had coins to drop into the box. So they would make sure that they dropped it in really loud to make it sound mm -hmm. like there was a lot of money going in. They came into church wearing their fanciest, best clothes. It was all about appearance. Yeah, it was all about making a big show that you were giving this much money to God. Mm -hmm. But then there was this woman. Mm -hmm. And that's where our story picks up. That's our story for today. And it comes from Mark and Luke. And it says, Jesus and the disciples went to the temple area. And they watched as people dropped money into the offering box. The rich people put a lot of money mm -hmm. in the box. And then Jesus saw a poor widow. So a widow is somebody whose husband has already died. And she put two small coins into the box. This woman's gift is greater than all the others, Jesus whispered to his disciples. Even though the woman is poor, she gave all the money that she had. The rich people gave a lot of money, but they still had plenty left over. Wow. So we see that the woman gave everything she had because she knew what she had was from God. Mm -hmm. The other guys were just given to make a big show of it, like, hey, I'm rich and I'm going to give this money to God. But Jesus said that the widow was giving all she had. So mm -hmm. that was her gift was more important than anybody else's because she was poor. I mean, she, she gave her two coins and then went back home and had, had nothing. nothing. And she did so with a grateful heart. She mm -hmm. wasn't doing it to draw attention to herself, mm -hmm. and she wasn't doing so to make people think better of her. She was giving because she knew that it belonged to the Lord. Mm -hmm. And that's where all our blessings come from. They come from God. We wouldn't have even the money we have without no. it coming from God and giving us everything that we have. Well, with that being said, it is time for... Science Experiment! All right, so for today's science experiment, you're going to need a pile of pennies. Yep. Ooh, you're listen to all that money. You're going to need, <laughs> you're going to need money. Mm -hmm. Sounds like the rich people at the yes. temple making a big deal. You're going to need a glass and you're going to need water. So I've already filled up our glass here. It is I'm, like. Yeah, I'm not going woo, to touch it. Right at the top. <laughs> you have to fill the glass of water all the way to the brim. Like it's got to be just, just barely that it's not spilling Almost over. ready to overflow. Yep, so we, we've got that full, and we're gonna take our pennies, and we're gonna start dumping them, or dropping them into the glass. Okay. Now, Dr. Yah, yes, how Dr. many Lee. pennies do you think I can drop in the glass before the water starts to like spill over the edge? Well, I mean, that water is right at the top, so it's only gonna take, I say three, that's my bet. I think you it's only going to take three pennies and the water is going to overflow. All right, well, I was able to grab one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen pennies. Do you think I'll get them all in? No, I think you're going to need three. All right, well, let's try it. Here we go. I really only think you're going to need one, but. Okay. Oh. Ah, oh, man, I lost 
the bed. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, <laughs> eleven. Oh, it's like bubbly on top. Twelve, <laughs> thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. It still didn't go over. It still didn't go over. And I mean, it's, it is like it's coming up. On top. But now, friends, look, take a side look because when you look at the side, it actually has like a, a bubble that's formed on tight. It is it's like a dome. So we're talking surface tension today. And there's surface tension on the water. And every time we dropped a penny in, they kind of mounded. Mm -hmm. Okay? So you, you can kind of see the arch in the water mounding on top as you drop the pennies in. It looks like you're going to need quite a few pennies, at least more than 15, in order to break the surface tension of the water. So scientists at home, how many pennies can you get in your glass of water before the surface tension breaks and the water starts to spill out of the edge? Yes, make sure you either comment below or send us an email and let us know how many pennies it took for you to do it. We're going to have to find some more pennies before we can figure it out. So. Yeah. Let did, us know. Did you ever think though that you could stretch water? No. And make it mound? It's a liquid. Yeah, but it's cool. It's it's mounding so that it can accommodate all the pennies that we've dropped into it. I really wish that I had more pennies me on too. me right now so that I could start dropping them in. Oh, wait, I do. Oh, one more. I had another penny that tried to escape. So this makes number 16. No, nope. nope. still didn't do it. Still didn't break <laughs> the surface tension. So more than 16. More than 16. Scientists at home, let us know how many pennies you got in your glass of water before it started to spill out. Well, thank you for joining us as we went mad for the gospel. Have a great week. Bye, guys.